I've always wanted to be a cyborg, so I injected an NFC chip into my hand. But seriously, let's look into this. Why are microchip implants the mark of the beast? What do they have to do with Obamacare and why are they hacking into androids? To find out, I decided to buy my own and implant it into myself. Let's get down to the procedure details. So the first thing to look at is the location where the implant will rest in the body. It's important that you can move the implant around easily, but it's also important that it won't interfere, so I'm going to do it where everyone else does it, right in their palm. It's not exactly going to be in the palm, it's actually going to be in between the pointer finger and the thumb. It seems as if it's become a standard practice to put the chip in that location. Now looking at an anatomical model of the bones in the hand, we can see that we need to avoid the metacarpal of the thumb, the second metacarpal of the pointer finger, and then get right in between there. So we can look for the trapezium, and then the two metacarpals which will stand out obviously on the fingers, and then shoot for a spot in the middle. So now looking at my actual hand, what I can do is find the trapezioid, leave a mark there, then draw a line down the second metacarpal and follow through all the way to the wrist, and then at the midway point, leave a mark. So that's a halfway mark. Find the center of that lump, and then that's basically where I'm going to want the implant to stay. Okay, so now switching angles, we can see that halfway mark down the middle of the pointer finger. And we followed it through to the lump, so now we need to think about the trajectory that the needle is going to make coming into the point where we want the probe to rest. So. So far the line I have right now is a little too close to that index finger knuckle. So my plan is to follow this red marker's path with the needle and hit that same spot. This way I can avoid hitting the knuckle. So if you imagine this red marker is the needle, I'm going to follow that red line until I hit that point, then deposit the chip. Alright, so to get ready for the procedure, I'm just going to wash my hands with a good antibacterial soap, making sure to get the arms too, and then lay down a good work surface for me to work on. So let's see what I have to make this happen. I have some isopropyl alcohol for disinfectant purposes, some sanitary cotton balls, flora prep or any skin disinfectant of your choice, this just happens to be what I got, some rubber gloves, sanitary drapes, and last but not least the actual NFC tag and injector. This is the one I bought online. So the first thing I did was lay down the drapes, create a nice sanitary area, also make sure that your work area is well lit because you don't want to be in the dark. If you're doing this alone, it's definitely more important to have a well thought out process so that you have everything you need when you need it. Following the outline I traced before, I marked the final location where the tag was going to rest. I tented the skin vigorously in order to break the skin loose of the fascia. This would allow the needle to slide between the fascia and the skin and also allow the tag to rest between them. Then I disinfected the skin with some alcohol and chloroprep. I was pretty nervous at this point, but I pulled the injection assembly out of the package, gave a final rinsing with the chloroprep, I pulled out the retaining tag on the injection assembly, took the cap off the needle, and I was ready to go. All I remember thinking was, wow, this needle is huge. But I didn't really have a choice at this point, because I already pulled it out of its packaging, and it, was, and it wasn't clean anymore, so I just went for it. I squeezed my thumb close to the palm of my pointer finger, and, I mean, I didn't really know what to do, I just started pushing the needle into the skin. And I noticed that it was starting to break the skin, so that was kind of encouraging. So I just kept pushing. And I was kind of surprised, and also a little bit worried, at how hard it was to push the needle in. But I was pretty confident I wasn't breaking through the fascia, because I could see the needle going through the skin. As you can see here, the needle makes a line as it travels right underneath the layer of skin. This helped me see how deep the needle was going and exactly where it was going. I went a little past my injection site, backed the needle out a little bit to create a cave where the tag could go, and just push the plunger down. Then I just pulled the needle out, and I was surprised that it wasn't really bleeding that much. I grabbed some gauze, 
and then just threw a plain old band-aid on top of it and I was done. I have to admit, right after the procedure, I did start getting a little bit paranoid. For some reason I thought that I could have possibly broken through the fascia even though it definitely didn't hurt that much. If you're going to do this to yourself, I highly recommend you stay away from any kind of numbing cream or pain medication. This is because while I was doing it, besides being able to see the needle under the skin, I could actually feel where it was going and this was really important because it helped to make sure that I didn't go too deep and it also helped to make sure that the needle was going in the right place. You really need to retain the feeling in your hand. So this is what my hand looks like about 13 to 15 hours after the procedure. As you can see, there is very little, if at all, any swelling in the hand. This was only an experiment, it just happened to be on myself. But I cannot condone doing this on yourself, and it's really important that you understand the risks and whatever factors are involved in performing this. But with that aside, I thought this was a really great experience. I'm happy I did it, and... It's still healing up really well. It's only been about a day, but in the future, I'm definitely going to keep doing some update videos on how it's healing and some of the projects I'm going to pursue related to this chip. I also have some other cool videos on my channel if you want to check those out. Um, I just want to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.